Luciferases have given us light and understanding for many years, either as reporters or fusion proteins inside cells. Now we have developed our smallest and brightest luciferase, Nanoluck. Nanoluck can be used as your standard reporter, but what I want to talk to you about today is its use in monitoring protein interactions inside cells using bioluminescence resonance energy transfer, or BRET. BRET measures the proximity and the interaction between two proteins using a luminescent energy donor and a fluorescent acceptor. We have optimized the BRET approach by using nanoluck fusions as the energy donor and halotac fusions as our fluorescent acceptor, a process which we call nanobret. Nanobret is directly dependent upon the proximity of these two proteins. Therefore, when they are not within a certain distance of each other, there is no detectable signal. So what have we improved using our nanobret configuration? First, nanoluck is extremely bright, allowing for the expression of nanoluck fusions at very low physiological levels, yet still providing energy for transfer. Second, using the halotag fusion protein as a fluorescent acceptor, we have improved the signal to background due to the reduced spectral overlap of these pairs. So how do you set up a nanobret experiment? First, you would optimize the orientation and placement of the nanoluck donor and acceptor halotag fusion tag to obtain the optimal nanobret ratio. If no limitations regarding tag placement are known for either one of your proteins, you would develop four constructs for each. Halotag N-terminal, halotag C-terminal, nanoluck N-terminal, and nanoluck C-terminal constructs. This means for a single protein pair, you have eight possible constructs. You then transfect cells with the eight possible pairwise combinations and determine which combinations yield the best nanobret ratios. Furthermore, you optimize the relative expression of the donor to acceptor to achieve the best possible signal to background. After this has been completed, you are now able to monitor the interactions and any changes to these interactions inside the cell. For example, you can detect the effect of a specific inhibitor against a protein interaction, which results in a decrease of nanobret, or you can follow the induction of an interaction, which results in an increase of the nanobret signal. These experiments can be done using either the full-length proteins or the domains or fragments which modulate the interaction. So we here have optimized numerous assays, including the tag placement and relative expression levels for many protein pairs in the area of epigenetics, transcription, signaling pathways, and membrane receptor signaling. For more information on these existing and developed assays, or if you would like to develop your own nanobret assay, please contact us at promega.com slash nanolab.